I want to highlight the stories of two families from my district. The Brock family, Lisa and Bob, from Rolling Meadows, have an eight-year-old son, Brian, who was diagnosed with severe food allergies before he turned one. Lisa carried an EpiPen for five years, and one day, Brian ate something and began foaming at the mouth and vomiting, and her nightmare came true. When he came home from the hospital, he told his mom, Mom, I don't want to die. Even at five years old, Brian knew how serious his body's reaction was. He knew his throat was closing. On this occasion, an EpiPen saved his life. Then there's Michelle Hansen from Schaumburg, Illinois. She's deeply concerned about Milan's skyrocketing prices. Her husband, Mark, and her seven-year-old daughter both have life-threatening peanut allergies. So as a result, their family has to ensure they have two auto-injectors at school, camp, each sets of grandparents' homes, and mom's purse. The Hansen family knows what it's like to depend on this small device for the safety of their family, and that's why Michelle took the time to write to me and urge me to do everything in my power to ensure everyone, even those less fortunate, can protect their children with the same level of care. The Brock and Hansen families are lucky. They have good insurance, but like Lisa shared with me, we don't know if we'll always be in this position. And one day, they may not be able to afford the EpiPen, whose prices keep going higher and higher. And I agree with Lisa and Michelle. Even a single life lost due to lack of access and affordability to this drug is one life too many. Now, Ms. Bresch, I'm going to ask you to keep your answers short. I'm going to ask you yes or no questions or short one-word answers. Please don't try to filibuster and, and, and run out my time. So I need you to answer yes or no. Um, Earlier, you said that EpiPen has given out over 700,000 EpiPens to, Milan has given out over 700,000 EpiPens to schools across the nation. Is that correct? Yes, we've given free EpiPens. Okay. They, Milan also offers schools discounted EpiPens through your EpiPen for Schools program. Is that correct? Yes, they can purchase additional pens if they want. Okay. So this is particularly important in, in Illinois, states like Illinois, that have laws that require schools to stock um, epinephrine auto injectors. In fact, uh, um, this is a program in schools that your own mother uh, was instrumental in getting uh, states to adopt in her capacity as the president of the National Association of State Boards of Education. So we can better understand the scope of this program from August 12th through May 16, May of 2016, approximately how many schools signed uh, certification forms purchasing discounted EpiPens at a price of $112.10 cents per carton. Schools that have decided to purchase um, just additional, besides mm -hmm. the four, because we give four free EpiPens. Okay, how many schools have, have, have done this? I think around 5%. So I think there's been about 45,000 EpiPens. So 45,000 schools. No, no. EpiPens purchased. Okay, so how many school, schools? I'm so not so sure answer my many. question. So a CEO of Milan, you don't know. You just quoted a number of how many schools you'd given them to and how many schools you had not given to and that you wanted to get them to all of these other schools. But you can't tell me how many schools have actually bought EpiPens from you in this program that you're it's, so proud of? It's a very small number. 60, it doesn't, it, it's very small. The 66,000 schools are who we've given free EpiPens to. Okay. So I'm, I'm also not as concerned about your profit making. I believe in the free market. What I'm concerned about is your monopolistic practices. Um, and so there's a little confusion in public reporting. Could you simply confirm, yes or no, whether schools that purchased discounted EpiPens had to make any representation and warrants to Milan that they would adhere to certain conditions in order to access the discount price that you give them? Schools did not have to purchase any EpiPens. No, no, no. The schools that are trying to get the discounted price from you, did they have to certify or make any representations or warrants to Milan that they would adhere to certain conditions in order to get that price? For, the, for people who wanted to buy it at the discounted rate, yes. But that had nothing. The free EpiPens had no. I'm not talking about the free EpiPen. So I'm holding here, and, and Mr. Chairman, I'd like this entered into the record, and, and please put this up. Without it's a certification form. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's a certification form where EpiPen, where Milan has actually said, that the school hereby certify that it will not in the next 12 months purchase any products that are competitive to EpiPen auto injectors. So you actually put into practice forcing schools, and you're so concerned about these kids that you actually are limiting the school's ability to buy pens from someone else. And you, so you're saying, here, we'll sell it to you for 100 bucks. We've raised the price to 600. If you want it for the 100 buck price that it used to be at, you need to sign this and say that you can't buy this from anybody else. 
Don't answer. I'm not asking you a question. That's what you've done here. Well, I, I so, disagree with that because they did not have to buy our pens. Our free. But if they wanted to were, get this price, if they wanted a heavily discounted price, yes, they. Yeah, it was they heavily discounted. EpiPen. The heavily discounted price is one hundred and twelve dollars and ten cents, which is where it was before you jacked up the price to six hundred dollars. So it's every, not a discounted price. It's only discounted because you raised the price on them, and then you say, "Oh, you wanted at the old price before we jacked it up for profits." Here, you need to sign this and say you will not buy this from anybody else. And I'm, don't an, I'm not asking you a question. This is what you have done. Your own document says it. They don't have to buy them, and they're everyone That's is right. eligible for free That's right. You don't have to buy them, but one. your own mother is out there lobbying to make sure that they're in all those schools. And this article says that many members of the, of the board of the NASBE uh, didn't even know that there was a family connection between you and your, between Mylan and, and, and your mom through you as she was out there trying to, passing out your guides from Milan as she was out there talking to school boards, as she was pushing for these EpiPens to be put into school districts, and then they can't buy it for I'm a lower sorry, price. Congressman, you control, that is completely You control 94 percent of the market, and then you tell schools you want it at the old price. Sorry, you can't buy it at the old price because we, unless you promise not to buy it from anyone else. That, to me, is an unfair monopoly. I yield back, Mr. Chairman.